Hey everybody, Jeff here for POD Insights, the podcast and YouTube channel. Hopefully right now your shop is making some Mother's Day sales, and if you haven't already, it's time to get your Father's Day designs published. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're going to look at a couple of Father's Day themed niches. We'll create a couple of product listings, and we'll even talk about how you can use artificial intelligence to come up with some funny quotes for t-shirts if you're having a hard time thinking of design ideas. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Father's Day themed design for a t-shirt and a mug, and we're gonna kinda do this first one the traditional way. So all I did was I started by searching for a funny dad t-shirt, and I started seeing this one particular joke in the search results, and uh, after doing a couple of searches, checking on competition levels, I landed on this one as our first design. So it's database. So basically the joke is I keep all my dad jokes in a database. It currently has 2,200 search results or 2,200 competition if you search for it with no spaces. And Sales Samurai is currently estimating about 184 monthly searches, but I'm filming this in late April, 2023. So the search volume for this type of a niche is probably gonna spike a little bit as we get closer to Father's Day. If you put spaces in between the wording here, you're gonna come up with just slightly different search results, a little bit lower competition, actually 2000 search results. So I'm gonna use this one in my tags as well as without the spaces. So my goal here is gonna be to create a t-shirt and a mug. Also probably create a couple different variations of it rather than just having one listing out here for this niche. And what I'm going to do first is take a quick scan of the competition and just see what design themes are already here. And then I'm going to start thinking of what can I do that will look different than what's already here in the popular search results. I'm noticing a theme here of a lot of the retro color theme. Some of them are like a, you know, like a definition out of a dictionary. That's a little bit different. A lot of text only designs and a lot of retro color themes. So now I've got an idea of what I want to not do. Basically, I don't want to just create one that looks exactly like these because then it'll just blend in and not stand out. So I'm going to hop over to Kittle here, which I'm going to use to create this design. You could do this in Canva. You could do it in Photoshop, Photopia, whatever design software you like to use. But I'm going to use Kittle because of the templates that are available, and it's going to make it easy for me to get an idea for a design theme that I want to use. I'm going to go more like 80s retro theme, like tech theme. So I just put in 80s in the search bar here for Kittle templates, and I'm just going to scroll through here. But I'm actually thinking of this one that I saw right here at the top, this groovy gear one here. I like the curve of this text. I think that could easily be replaced with the database phrase there, and I could just put curved text over the top add a graphic to it, and I think I'd be good to go. And so here's what I came up with. Kittle makes this super easy. All I did was open that template. I selected this text here, changed it to database. I added a text layer and used the simple circle curve tool there and used the project colors to make it purple. Then I used the element search over here on the left. First, I searched for technology and then computer, and then I ended up selecting this floppy disk to go with this theme. Now, normally before I download this, I would actually go to the settings gear and I would change the sizing of it to be more like a normal t-shirt size graphic, like 4,500 by 5,400. However, because I'm using Printify to create these listings, I'm gonna download this as an SVG and then upload it to Printify that way so I can scale it to any size that I need without having effect on the quality. So I'm not gonna bother resizing it in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this as an SVG file. I'm gonna select remove background here just in case. Now, if you still wanted to scale it up, so in general, it's just a little bit bigger, you can always change your dimensions or change the DPI, it'll make it a much larger file. But before I leave Kittle, I'm gonna take advantage of a new feature. If you're a Kittle user and you missed this, take a look at this feature. They now have mockups built right into their tool. Now, they're still pretty basic. I think there's a couple of improvements uh, that could be made here, but the mock-up feature is pretty darn nice. So I've downloaded my design print file that I'm gonna use on Printify, but before I leave here, instead of going to place it, instead of creating my own mock-ups, I'm gonna click on this mock-up button here in the top right corner. That's now gonna take my finished design and bring it over into this mock-up user interface where it's going to automatically place my finished design into mockups. And on the left, I've got a whole menu here of mockups to choose from. So I'm gonna go to the t-shirt options here first, and we'll see if we can find a good mockup to use. Here's one that I think could work pretty well for the primary thumbnail because the t-shirt is really front and center. I'm gonna change this to black. I know I'm gonna offer this in black. Now here is where this is up to you, depending on which way you wanna do it. You might want to go upload this into your design editing view in Printify as you're creating the listing. 
before you actually save and download your mock-ups from Kittle here because you want your sizing and placement of the design on the mock-ups to look just like it does on the preview view in Printify or whatever your platform is that you're using. You won't know exactly how that's gonna look until you actually go do it. So you might wanna do that first. I'm gonna do one other thing before I leave Kittle. I'm actually gonna create a new project file and then upload the finished one of these because I need all the layers to be flattened together as a finished file instead of separate layers. And then I'm gonna slightly reshape this so that I can use it on a mug. With kind of a square aspect ratio of the design, it's not gonna be perfect to fit on one side of a mug. I'd rather have it be a little bit more tall than it is wide. So I actually wanna take this finished file and then sort of squeeze it to make it a little bit taller. So I'm just gonna create a new project here. All right, so I've re-uploaded my finished file in here. So now it's just one layer, it's just a flat design. And again, I'm doing this because I want it to fit better on each side of a mug. So all I'm gonna do is now grab one of the corner bounding boxes, hold down the shift key, and then start dragging in towards the center. I don't wanna make it super, super narrow because then it'll start to look really funny, but then I can center it here and now I'm ready to download this one. So I'm just gonna call this one database mug. There we go, now I'll download this one for use on a mug. All right, time to actually create these listings. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create my T-shirt. I'm gonna go with a Gildan 5000 for this one so I can offer it at a nice competitive price and we'll go ahead and upload the SVG file. Whoops, I accidentally uploaded the PNG instead of the SVG. Well, it's large enough, thankfully I made it large enough. So we'll go ahead and use that one. Our, uh, we're gonna scale it down a little bit, I think. So we're actually gonna be well above 300 DPI. So we should be good there. I'm gonna go to the top right corner here and select the colors I want. I'm gonna do black and white. And uh, I like to keep things fairly simple I might go ahead and do a Heather Gray on this one. So let's just take a look at the preview view here and see what it looks like. I think it'll probably stand out best on black. So let's see what that one looks like. There we go. So that looks pretty large, even though we scaled it down a little bit. Let's take a look at one of the mock-ups they provide where it's on a person here. Yeah, that looks pretty large and I'm actually happy with that. I like a nice big design that stands out. So I might actually need to adjust the mock-up that I made on Kittle. So let me just jump back over to Kittle. I'll make an adjustment here to make this a little bit bigger. All right, I think that's a closer match to the size of the design. So we'll go ahead and download that one. We'll use that one instead. All right, now we've got our mockups now ready to proceed. So we'll come back to Printify. We'll hit the save product button in the bottom right corner that is behind my head. Now we can finish the publishing process for this listing. So we're going to go ahead and we can only send 10 mockups here, but I'm actually not really planning on using any of these, I don't think, except for maybe these uh, lay flat ones just to show the color options. So I'm going to deselect a whole bunch of these. Now we're gonna go ahead and give this our title. We'll fill in our description. When I come down to my shipping profile, I of course am gonna select my existing t-shirt shipping profile and not create a new one because I don't want 10 million shipping profiles in my account. Of course, you wanna set your pricing as you normally would. Unless you copied an existing listing and it has your pricing already in it, you're gonna to wanna to of course set your pricing. We don't need to change anything here, but I do like to select this first option for variant visibility to show all options available for purchase, especially for t-shirts because there are so many providers on Printify that have this type of t-shirt available that if something were to be out of stock, I can just get it fulfilled from somebody else. All right, we'll go ahead and hit the publish button that is behind my head here. And now while that's publishing, we will go ahead and get our mug listing together as well. I like to use District Photo for my mugs, both 11 ounce and 15 ounce. I do offer them both in the same listing. I have a whole video about how to create a combo listing and add both the 11 ounce and 15 ounce into one listing. If you're interested in checking that out, there's a link in the corner of this video and in the description so you can see how that works. Now I need to upload the mug version of the design here because remember that one has a slightly different aspect ratio. All right, now if we position this so that the D and dad is right up against that safe line, let's see how small we have to make it to get that center line right on the center there. There we go. So now it's gonna look a little bit more centered on the side of the mug and it should also look a little bit larger. Let's pop open the 3D view. It might not be totally perfect, but it looks more centered and it definitely fills out more of the vertical space. Now I feel comfortable to go ahead and use this little duplicate feature here. If I hover above the graphic, I've got this little duplicator copy button, we'll hit that. That'll create a copy of our scaled design where now we can just slide it over to the right-hand side, position it so it's right up against the safe line on the right side of the design area. Those red lines are telling us we do have it vertically aligned with the other side. And now I can go ahead and hit the preview to see the finished mug. So there we go, it is aligned on both sides. Now I'd like it if it filled out a little bit more of the vertical space, but I wouldn't go any more narrow than that, otherwise it's gonna start to look really weird. That's about as far as I would go with this design 
as far as squeezing it or pinching it in. So I am happy with the way this looks. Now, some of these mock-ups are usable. I like to use the one that shows it on both sides. Uh, like this one, I usually always include this one in my listings. This one's another usable one here. So you can use the ones that Printify offers here, or you can go with Place It or the ones that Kittle offers. But now all we have to do again is save product here, finish out our listing details, and publish this one over to Etsy as well. All right, of course, to finish up the listings here, I'm gonna do what I always do with my Etsy listings, which is I'm gonna add my size chart. I'm gonna add the mock-ups that I downloaded for this one. I'm gonna, of course, adjust my thumbnail here to make sure the design is really front and center and easy to read in search results. So make sure you always do that for your listings. There we go. Then I'm gonna go through and complete the rest of my listing details. I'm gonna add one other thing to the description here before I publish this listing. And that is I'm gonna to go to the mug listing, which I haven't even really edited yet or finalized, but the link here is not gonna change. So I'm gonna grab a link. I'm going to ignore the reference part of the URL here at the top. So I'm just going to grab everything up to the question mark here because the question mark is where it starts to include the reference of where you came from in the URL. I'm just going to grab everything up to that question mark here in the URL. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come back to my listing description within the t-shirt listing and I'm going to add in the description, we also offer this design on a mug and then I will paste that link. And that will be a live hyperlink in the description when we publish this. So now you've got that in there linking customers to your mug design. Now you can also include that in one of your mockups, especially if you haven't used all 10, you can throw in a mockup with the mug image in there and even add some text to it to say the same thing. We also offer this design on a mug. I'm gonna select Printify as the production partner, add it to a shop section and do all 13 of my tags using the different keywords that I came up with in my research. Make sure you always are hitting the keyword phrases that are specific to your design niche or sub niche for this particular product. Fill up as many of your tags with those as you can and then go ahead and add a few keyword phrases here that are more general. So of course, they're gonna be things like dad joke t-shirt. You don't want all of your tags to be that general because those phrases are gonna have really high competition. It's gonna be harder to rank on those. So definitely fill out as many as you can that are specific for this particular design, this niche, and then go ahead and add a few of those more general ones. All right, we're gonna make sure we got our shipping profile assigned there. That's all good. All right, so our t-shirt design is, look, is published now and the thumbnail of it's looking great. So now we can finish the mug listing. Do the same thing for the thumbnail, of course. Make sure the design is nice and big and easy to read in your main thumbnail for search results. Do the same thing for your tags, but it is worth looking up and seeing if there are any other related phrases that didn't really apply with the t-shirt, but might apply to this. For example, normally I know we don't always say the type of product in our tags. Like you don't need 13 tags that all have the word mug in there. However, some people might actually search using the word cup instead of mug, in which case you do wanna include that in here, especially if you haven't used it anywhere else. So I would put database cup as one of my tags. As I mentioned before, I would normally be also adding in the variant for the 15 ounce option that I created as a draft in my Printify account. Again, I have a whole video about that. So check out that video if you wanna know how to do that. And before I publish this, I would do the same thing in the description of this listing. I would grab a link to the t-shirt listing and put that link in this description to let customers know we also offer this design on a t-shirt. Now, I personally wouldn't stop there. This was not a super, super low competition niche. It was right around 2000 search results currently with search volume of estimated around 180 to 200 a month. That'll spike a little bit closer to Father's Day and also likely around the holidays, but it's not like there's only a couple of pages of search results. So I personally, if I felt like this was a good opportunity, I would actually go create a few variations of this design theme. I would maybe grab a different template on Kittle and make two or three versions of this and get at least a few listings out into this niche rather than just one design style. All right, so that's one idea and listing process for you for Father's Day designs. I wanna point out two other things to be aware of. One, to help you if you're not sure where to start with ideas for phrases or jokes or funny things you could put on Father's Day themed products. But before we talk about that, let me also mention product types. Don't forget that your print-on-demand platform has a whole catalog of products. Now that might seem like kind of an obvious, silly statement to make, but of course, t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, mugs, those are always popular gift items. However, for Father's Day, you might also want to consider something like a pint glass. We have frosted pint glasses. I think there are also clear pint glasses available on Printify. This one, this frosted pint glass is available from District Photo as well as the mugs. We could put that same design we just created on one of these nice frosted pint glasses and add it into our listing with our mugs and create a combo listing of different drinkware types just to see if we can make some more sales. And of course, we can always publish this as a separate listing as well as offering it 
in that combo listing with mugs. If you identify any barbecue or grill master type themed designs for Father's Day, don't forget to offer that design on an apron as well. Now we're not gonna talk about all the product possibilities for Father's Day, but I just wanted to point this out. Don't forget that there are other products out there that may be a good fit for the niche that you're creating designs for. So what do you do if you just don't know where to get started? Well, this is where artificial intelligence can help you out. Now, I haven't made a whole lot of content around AI on the POD Insights channel, but this is a topic that I thought would be a good example of how to leverage AI for your print-on-demand business. Now, there's a couple things that are important to remember here. I'm suggesting that you take advantage of some AI tools to get ideas. It may not actually give you like the literal thing that you're going to create a design for, but it might at least help get the ball rolling for you if you just feel stuck and you don't know what to do. So one option, of course, would be to just come over to chat GPT and put a prompt in there. So for example, I put a prompt in here that says, generate a list of dad joke puns that could be printed on a t-shirt. And it gave me this list of 10. Now I could just hit regenerate at the bottom if I didn't like any of these, but these could be a starting point for a t-shirt design. Now, as I mentioned, there are things to keep in mind here. First and foremost, still do a little bit of research. Go ahead and pop one or two of these into the search bar on Etsy and see if there are already listings. Use tools like Sales Samurai to get estimated search volume. Whatever keyword research tool you use, take a look at a couple of these and see if there appear to be any good opportunity. Because remember, this is not telling us that these are good sales opportunities. These are just things to get the ball rolling because we didn't know where to start. Also, you still always want to do your trademark research to make sure you're not creating a design that has a trademarked word or phrase in it. Now, if you're looking for design inspiration that is already more targeted at the types of products that we make as print-on-demand sellers, Vexels has a brand new tool that can help you out. In April 2023, they just launched an AI-based quote generator tool. So if you are a Vexels subscriber, I definitely would start here. When we come to their quote generator tool, all we have to put in is something like dad jokes. And you can get a lot more specific than that with your prompt, but I'm just gonna make it really simple. And then it also gives you a theme or a mood to select here. You don't have to, it's still gonna generate some, some quotes here for us to consider, but you can also indicate whether you want it to be funny, motivational, sad, sarcastic. And I also wanna point out there is an option here to change the length of these. So right now it's set to short. If we drag this over, it will regenerate and now it's gonna give us some longer quotes. All right, so here we go. We've got some longer quotes to look at here. There's a couple more if we shuffle over to the right. Now, again, I may not take one of these and use the exact phrase, but it might be an inspiration for me. And there's a couple other cool features here. If you find one that you like, like this one here, let's say dad jokes are my superpower is something I like. Maybe it's not perfect, but I wanna see more like that. There's a little plus sign here I can click on that's to show me more like this, and it will regenerate a new list based on that one that you liked. So here we go, here's some more to take a look at. If you see one that you actually do wanna use, the actual phrase, of course, still check your trademarks to make sure you're not about to use something that's trademarked, but you can just hit this little copy button here to copy the phrase. It copies it just as text. Go over to your design editor, paste it in there and make your design. I believe in the future, they'll be connecting this tool right into the t-shirt designer. So you'll be able to basically just click on one you want and it'll bring it into a t-shirt design so you can just keep going right from there. So if you're a Vexel subscriber already, definitely check this tool out. I think it's a great way to get the ball rolling and get some ideas for quotes for t-shirts, especially if you just kind of feel stuck. And if you're not a Vexel subscriber, but you're interested in it, check out the video that I recently released going over all of my favorite sources for commercial print on demand graphics. I talked about all of the other tools and features that Vexels has, as well as the pricing and all of that information. I have a direct link to Vexels in the description of this video and a link to that video so you can see more of the features that your subscription comes with if you are interested. All right, so that's it for this video. Good luck creating your Father's Day designs and I hope you have fun with it. Let me know in the comments if it was helpful and if you have any questions about anything that I covered in this video. Do me a favor, hit that like button if you did find it helpful so YouTube can show it to more people. And don't forget to subscribe to the POD Insights channel. Thank you to all subscribers. I really do appreciate your support. Thanks everybody. See you next time.